In Grammar 10.1, we uh, started studying modal verbs of probability. And uh, we learned about must and can't and could, may, and might. Well, uh, today we're going, or in this video, we're going to talk about the past. How do we talk about the past with modal verbs of probability? Now remember, modal verbs of probability are used when we actually, when we, when we don't know the truth. Um, so, in a way, we are guessing. Now, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about the past meaning. Now, uh, in the past, we use must or can't or could or may or might, and kind of like present perfect, or we call it the perfect infinitive. We need have and a past participle. So, an example from the website, John didn't come to school yesterday. Now, John always comes to school. Um, if John didn't come to school yesterday, um, I think, I'm really sure, he was sick. He was. So, was sick means be sick. I'm really, really sure. So, I would say, he must have, and then how do I say was sick? Okay, be sick. So, he must have been sick. John didn't come to school yesterday. He must have been sick. This means I'm really sure he was sick, but maybe I'm wrong. Now, yesterday, it was sunny, and it had, there was a clear sky. This morning, I look outside, and the ground is wet. And it looks like it rained last night. Now, yesterday it was sunny, and there was a clear sky. So, last night, I think it was impossible. It is impossible that it rained last night. It rained. So, it can't have rained last night. It can't have rained. But maybe I'm wrong. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, well, we have three choices with maybe. You can say might, or may, or could. And again, remember, there's very little difference between these. Now, how do you say maybe he woke up late? Maybe he woke up late. Well, he may, he might, he could have woken up late. So he might have woken up late. He still hasn't arrived. Okay. And the last example is, I can't, I'm trying to call somebody and I, I can't contact her. The phone number is not working. Well, maybe she changed her phone number. So maybe she changed. She may, she might, she could have changed her phone number. She may have changed her phone number. Now, in Unit 7 and Unit 8, we studied the present perfect, and we studied the past participle of go. Now, this is confusing because the past participle of go sometimes is gone and sometimes is been. Now, we're, if you remember from Unit 7 or Unit 8, we say gone when we use the present perfect to explain now. Okay, so she's not here now. She's not here. She's gone. Okay, uh, John is not in the office right now. He has gone home. So we're talking about now when we use gone. When we use been, we are talking about the past or we are talking about experience. Okay, so this is the same for modal verbs of probability in the past. Okay. 
the first example, where is Kazuko? Okay, well, I think I'm pretty sure, although maybe I'm wrong, I'm, I'm very sure she went to the bathroom. So I'm explaining now. Now she's in the bathroom. So we would say she must have gone to the bathroom because I'm talking about now. Okay, now Beth isn't here right now. Okay, well, maybe she went home. Maybe she went home. So Beth could have, may have, might have gone home. Okay, now if somebody has uh, dark skin or darker skin than normal, uh, that's called a tan. And where does a tan come from? Well, of course, it comes from the sun. Okay, well, if somebody, especially in Canada, if somebody has a tan in January, what does that mean? Oh, well, you went somewhere on vacation. You, maybe you went to Mexico, you went to Hawaii, you went somewhere warm, right? Is this now go on vacation? No, this is before. So you have a tan. I'm really sure you went on vacation. Oh, you must have been on vacation. So those are the modal verbs of probability, and this is how we use them to talk about the past.